Hello folks. Last week we talked about why you would want to invest in ETFs. This week we will have an update on the portfolio and cover how to build your own M1 portfolio pie. So stick around. So first off, a disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. And if you have questions about your specific situation, you should consult with one. Uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. These are my portfolios, my, my doings. And like I said, if you have any questions, please ask a, financial, a certified financial advisor. Hi folks, it's time for another video portfolio update. I'm Wes, and here we go. Overall, let's see, let's, let's go over our video portfolio. We got uh, the one day, we're up 13 cents with earned dividends of 4 cents. The one week, we're down $1.64 with earned dividends of 14 cents. The one month, we're up $1.47, earned dividends of 28 cents. For the quarter, we're up $4.36 with earned dividends of 58 cents. And overall, we are up $16.11 with earned dividends of $2.88 and that represents a $7.86 or 7.86% gain. If we go into our ETFs um, slice of the pie, here we got our VTI which is total stock market, we got our VNQ which is the REITs or real estate investment trusts and we have our BNDW which is the Vanguard total world bond ETF. And uh, we can see what the gains overall on, on that is. is. For this portfolio, it's up 8.88% with the total earned dividends of $0.56. Cents. And if we go into the one day, we're completely flat on it. The one week, we're down $0.28. Cents. The one month, we are up $0.30. Cents. The quarter we're up 73 cents and of course we've got the overall uh, one other thing you can do here in, in um, m1 finance is take a look at your activities so we see that we had our ten dollar uh, deposit today we also traded 61 uh, buys with that ten dollars and plus a little bit of money that was in the cash and uh, the day before we we bought two and sold one We'll take a look at that, and of course, since last week we've got three cents and and dividends that we've had posted to our account. There is a difference between earned dividends and posting of dividends. I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, if we take a look at what I sold, I sold out of the growth portfolio, which doesn't concern this uh, series too much. But uh, I sold Netflix because it's just not performing. I don't expect it to perform anymore, and I bought iRobot, which should perform well in the uh, event that we get a trade deal with China so that's what I'm hoping anyway and of course with growth it's speculation it's speculation by you see what's going on and you and you see what a company does and how they act and then you you get it but for our ETFs we don't have to worry about that uh, with our ten dollars that we deposited today we had 61 buys I'll scroll down here slowly so you can see what they were There we go. And if we take a look at what the ETF buys were for today for our portfolio, our ETF portfolio, BNDW, BNQ, and VTI are right there. As you can see, the total stock market got a, a boost of $1.74 added to it today. <clears throat> and essentially, that, uh, that's the update. If you have questions about the update, or if you want to see something else, done here. I'm, I'm going to do different series on uh, growth and at least individual dividend picks. If we look at the overall portfolio, we can see that uh, the individual dividend picks is obviously doing better. That's something that's where I spend a lot of time uh, looking into individual companies and picking the stocks that I want to own. And um, we, we see exactly the, what I would expect to see, which is the highest gain in that. If you spend the time doing it, you can get a bigger uh, 
you know, just a, a better overall return. But if for those folks that don't want to spend the time doing that, ETFs are still the best way to go. And I did tell you that I, we would look at what I sold and bought. Okay, we got we did that. All right. And that's the update. Now for going in to show you how to uh, how how you're going to set up your own portfolio. So in M1 Finance, when you sign up, and you can sign up in the link below. We've got a referral link in, in the description. And if you do that, if you use that referral link, you'll get $10. I'll get $10, and you'll see that $10 go right into this portfolio. And if you wanted to send me a message, write a message saying, hey, I signed up, and tell me where you want that $10 to go, that's fine too, as long as it's in a, a ETFs or growth or individual dividend picks. And I'll make a video on that if, if that's what you wanted to do. But as far as M1 Finance is concerned, if you want to make your own pie, you're going to go up here to Research, My Pies, and you can create a new pie here. For ETFs, you can you can choose over here on the left hand side what area you would like to look in. So let's say you wanted to do consumer defensive. It's going to show you all of this. We can set all kinds of different filters in here to look at what you want. If you want to, if you know that you want Vanguard, you can type in Vanguard, and just when you start to type it in, you can see that all the different ones that pop up. So for this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the pie that I have. Maybe add a couple others. Okay. So we have VNQ. Going to add that the basket and give you all kinds of information. We have VTI. I'm gonna add that. Gives you all kinds of information on that. You can look at the five year, whatever it is. And we have B and DW. Add that. Now that that would create the uh, portfolio that I have and then you would allocate uh, what percentage you want to it, but I'm going to go one step further and do something that's not in the in the portfolio already. And if you were a little more conservative, you might want to have a gold ETF, for example. So we'll put GLD in there. It's got a pretty high expense ratio and doesn't pay a dividend. But if stuff hits the fan, then uh, it might be prudent to have a little bit of gold. So we'll add that. And as you can see, it splits them up evenly. We've got four pieces that splits it up to 25% uh, each. Should you want to change that, which I suspect that you probably would, and you would go in here. So changing it will depend on your personal uh, comfort level. If you want to go really aggressive, you're going to have most of it in stocks. And for this particular portfolio that we're building, let's go 50% in that. Now, I would say 15 and 15 each in real estate and bonds. And then, of course, the rest is going to be in gold. I'm not sure if I like that. So, we'll just keep playing around with it. I would say let's go with 20% in bonds, make it really conservative. 20% in real estate and 10% for gold. And I still think that's probably a little bit much in, in the gold. So, uh, like I said, you're going to play around with that and, and make it to your liking. You can change the name of the pie down here. We say video tutorial pie. You can give it a description if that's what you want and you just hit save and that makes your pie and you'll always be able to find that pie under when you hit my pies you got it right here if you want to add it to a portfolio you could now it's that easy it gives you all the information you need you got four holdings here it tells you the target percentages 
and when you added that to your portfolio you would be go ahead and be able to uh, fund that and making a pie in M1 Finance is that easy love M1 Finance and love that you're here learning about M1 Finance and hopefully this helps if it does please hit the like button subscribe and click the the bell for notifications and we'll be looking next week I might in the future be adding more money to this if this is too little money every week I, I, I did the ten dollars a week because I think anybody could do that I do have more money available that I could um, put into this portfolio every week if that's something you'd like to see then uh, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll do that or if you if you're in a, really interested in the other portfolios that we have I'll go back to it here uh, high dividend yield portfolio growth portfolio or individual dividend portfolio I'd like to know that too because uh, I'll probably be making more videos in the future and I want to do the one the videos that you guys are interested in uh, I'll also be doing credit card videos on different uh, credit cards and savings accounts so let me know in the comments below what you want to see that's all I have we'll see you next week thanks